Hi everyone, welcome back to Cook and Share. Today we're making up some delicious shepherd's pie. So let's begin with our ingredients. First, we have onions, garlic, carrots, corn, peas, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, grated cheese, beef stock, ground beef, and mashed potatoes. Now for this recipe, I'll put a link below. The first step is to add the ground beef to a preheated pan. And we're going to fry it until it's nicely browned. After the beef is nicely browned, we're going to add in our onion, the garlic. And I'll give this a stir and we're going to saute this until they're fragrant. After the onion and garlic are fragrant, we're going to add in the carrots corn, the peas. Now I'm going to season with Worcestershire sauce, which I can never say, salt, some pepper, and I'm going to give this a stir until everything's well combined. Next, we're going to add the ketchup, the beef stock, and of course, mix again. If you're wondering about the beef stock, it's for two purposes actually. The first is to prevent it from getting really dry, and second, it adds a little bit of flavor. Now I'm going to allow this to simmer over a low heat for about 15 minutes, just to let the flavors combine nicely. After simmering for 15 minutes, we're going to turn off the heat. And now we're going to transfer it into a baking dish or a casserole dish. Now we'll smooth it out. The next step, we're going to take our mashed potatoes and we're going to put it over the top of the meat. And using a spatula, we're going to spread it out nicely so it's smooth. Next, I'm going to take a fork and just kind of rough up the top, just draw the fork across the surface so it browns nicely. I'm going to draw the fork in the other direction just so I get a nice crisscross effect. Now I'm going to take the cheese and sprinkle it over the top. Now this is totally optional. If you don't like cheese, you don't have to use it, but I like cheese. Now we're going to slip this into a 375 degree preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, our shepherd's pie is nicely done. We're going to remove it from the oven and we're ready to serve. And here's our shepherd's pie. Incredibly delicious. You're going to love this. For more information on this recipe and more cooking tips, visit our website at www.filipinocooking.net. And as always, have a wonderful day and enjoy.